Today we're trying out the Lily Brush, the mini pet hair detailer. So if you have a dog and you have a car, you know how difficult it can be to get the dog hair out of the car. So this one's for you. Today we're trying out the Lily Brush. And what the Lily Brush is, is a small piece of plastic with a rubber edge around it. And it's meant to really get some of that difficult hair out of upholstery that you otherwise can't get with simple vacuuming. I've certainly tried a number of things as I travel a lot with my dogs in the car and other dogs that I'm working with, uh, some of my behavior clients. But anyhow, it can be really, really stubborn and difficult to get it out. So I've tried the tape method, I've tried the lint rollers, I've tried just about everything. So I really wanted to give this a shot. I saw it in a car detailing video, so I wanna see how well it actually works. So I'm gonna follow the directions, which include going, going ahead and giving it a quick vacuum first. Uh, but I also wanted to let you know that I'm gonna try this out on a number of different surfaces because from what I understand, it actually works really well on carpet, on couches, not just in the vehicle. So we're gonna try it on a few different surfaces to see how well it actually works. All right, let me go grab my vacuum and we'll get started. By the way, please, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button to let me know and also hit the subscribe and the bell notification to see more videos just like it. So I'm just gonna use a standard shop vac to go over the car first, as it says in the directions to do, just to remove some of the superficial dirt, but not actually get down to the, the deep pet hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this on and give it a once over. So as you can see, there's still a good bit of dog hair in here, obviously. Um, typically, a, a once over with a vacuum isn't enough to quite agitate it all to the surface. So what we're really gonna do is see if we can get some of all of this stuff in here that's really stuck in there firmly out with this Lily brush. Okay, so I've got my Lily brush and I'm gonna start in a section here so you can kind of get an idea of how well it's working, but that also helps keep you on track as far as going uh, section to section to section to get it as clean as possible. They do recommend that you use a slightly damp towel just so that as you're going through it, you can just gently wipe your Lily brush off and keep going. So I've got that handy and ready to go. So according to the instructions, it really says just short, quick strokes and a pulling motion. So that's what I'm gonna do here starting in my top section, and you can see this is already piling a decent amount of hair. I really wanted to get a feel for how long it takes to get all of this hair out. That's really deep rooted into the carpet. Unfortunately, the carpet I have in my car is really good at holding on to dog hair. You can say it's accumulating pretty quickly already. Okay, so I just finished up that small little section in the back. It was literally about less than two minutes worth of work. And just to show you how much dog hair I got out of this tiny little section right here, I've got quite a clump. Ugh, it's disgusting, right? So the more that stays in your carpet and upholstery, the more it tends to degrade and cause odor in your vehicle. So I'm really glad I was able to get all of this out that's completely embedded that I can't get out with uh, the use of a vacuum cleaner. So. Definitely giving two thumbs up to the Lily brush. I don't know if you can see it well with the lighting here, but uh, give you an idea of what the difference is. This is the before, or this is the after section here that I just did. Again, a little less than two minutes of work compared to the other areas of the vehicle that I haven't used the Lily brush on just yet. So that's kind of it for the vehicle, but I'm really excited to kind of try this on my stairs too, because it's a high area of traffic for the dogs and for everyone else. And it tends to be one of those spots that hair likes to accumulate it as well. So I wanna give this a shot on the carpet real quick before we go. Okay, so I'm in the hallway in my stairwell, and even with regular vacuuming, I still feel like it doesn't really get the dog hair out that well, so that's why I was kind of excited to try the 
lily brush in some of the corners. We have a Roomba for the regular floors, but again, they can't go up and down the stairs, so just wanted to give this a quick try and see if we can get some of that really stubborn hair in the carpet fibers out. I'm gonna use the same method that I did in the car, just one area at a time in short strokes, and oh, we're already getting some stuff here. I'm already really enjoying this. This is gonna be satisfying. Hopefully you can see that it's bringing everything kind of up to the surface here. There's some loose carpet fibers as well, which is good to get out of the way. <clears throat> oh yeah. Definitely a good tool for the stairs too. And give you a little surprise to everything that's hiding in your carpet aside from dog hair as well. But I can even see a different in, in, difference in the color of the carpet and getting all of this stuff out. But yeah, less than 30 seconds of work and I've already got a pile of dog hair and some carpet fibers and some other things. The other nice thing that is kind of cool about this tool is it fits right up here. So all of this dog hair that gets caught up here, you can see it's already piling. Just a quick sweep across the stairs and I can get that off as well. So definitely good for areas that are a little harder to reach with the vacuum or that you don't vacuum as much. Oh yeah. So definitely a double thumbs up for in the house use as well. That's off of one stair, not even the complete full stair. So. Lily brush is definitely a really good tool that I recommend for in the car, upholstery, and uh, especially places where dog hair likes to get really stuck in the different fibers. So I definitely had a lot of fun trying out the Lily brush. This was all of $12, and I would say for that investment, it's an excellent tool to help you get pet hair out of the car, out of your couches, out of the stairwells. Definitely a two thumbs up for the Lily Brush. If you're interested in purchasing it after watching this video, I'm not sponsored by them in any way, but I'll be happy to provide the link for you in the description so that you can go right to Amazon and purchase the Lily Brush yourself. Again, it was only 12 bucks. Wasn't a lot of work to use at all. It's a very simple tool and uh, I definitely will continue to use this on all of my upholstery and anytime that I clean my car. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah.